In the studio is Christopher Young. He is the Donald Bren Chair of Non-Western Strategic Thought at the Marine Corps University. I want to get your reaction to what our correspondent in Pyongyang was saying. What is the DPRK hoping to get out of this summit in Hanoi? So, um, North Korea obviously is trying to create a new relationship with the United States. Um, and he, very thorough reporting, by the way, from that reporter in Pyongyang. I would say that he's pretty much covered it. So, one, uh, if they can get some sort of peace treaty ending the, the state of hostilities between the United States, People's Republic of China, the Republic of Korea, and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, then that's certainly an advancement towards something that they've been looking towards. Um, better relations between the United States and North Korea, that's the second thing they'd be looking for. Um, which could include uh, establishing liaison offices in both, uh, in both Washington and Pyongyang. Um, so they're clearly looking for a change relationship. You know, a lot has been said about that first summit in Singapore. There weren't a lot of concrete outcomes. Mm -hmm. How different do you think this second summit will be compared to the first? It, it will have to be much more concrete. Um, uh, the, Definitely in terms of atmospherics, it was a good thing um, to have the summit, the two leaders meeting, uh, the two leaders uh, promising in principle to move towards denuclearization, improving relations. Um, but the primary criticism from within the United States was that it needed to be more concrete, uh, and we didn't see enough of concrete measures, uh, verifiable measures, timetables. And so um, from the U.S. perspective, we're going to have to see something much more concrete coming out of that. Uh, in order for at least the president to claim a victory. If we see those concrete measures, and I think there's something to be said from the president's point of view that, they, that he did have a win. I mean, a lot of people can look at this and say, hey, they've met twice in eight months now. I mean, a lot has happened in this amount of time compared to previous years. So um, is it also about managing expectations for something, uh, such, such a goal as denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula? Uh, so, um, yeah, a lot, some time has, has passed, but um, this is such an intractable problem. Um, uh, and uh, you've got to get something more than simply getting together and meeting. Um, um, and I would say, on, even on the North Korean side, simply saying we have met uh, isn't good enough. But definitely from within the United States, you have to show something for the, the level of effort. Um, from the American perspective, the fact that, that diplomatically the United States the president has engaged in a summit with, uh, with, uh, with um, North Korea, which was essentially in isolation, um, required that we have to get something in return for the fact that we've elevated uh, the North Korean president to, to almost an equal status. And so from the U.S. perspective, we absolutely needed to have something much more tangible in coming out of it. And so we will see what, what comes out of the uh, tomorrow's meeting between the two countries. And I'm definitely sitting at the edge of my seat to make sure that there's going to be something much more concrete. Are you optimistic? I mean, this is going to get underway here, the uh, big meeting. I mean, they had dinner last night um, to a lot of smiles. But you know, now they're getting to the nitty gritty. What are you going to be watching for? So I think that what, what a lot of the expectations are are four, are four different things. One, I suspect that uh, the establishment of a liaison office will happen. Um, secondly, I suspect that we are going to be moving towards some sort of signed symbolic treaty, peace treaty. I think that is probably going to happen. Third, I do expect North Korea to promise to return more remains to the United States. And you're right, the sticking point for me, and in which case those are all fine, but the sticking point really comes down to whether or not the agreement on Yongbyon facility really is going to be in, uh, involving uh, measurable, verifiable timetables with regard to denuclearization of that facility. Um, so for me, I suppose I'm optimistic, but on the other hand, like many uh, Northeast A North Asia, China experts within the United States, we are, we're, you know, we'll say, we're, our, our perspective is, I'll believe it when I see it. And that's, I guess I'm going to hold my, my um, optimism in check until I actually see that come out of, the, um, out of the, the meeting in Hanoi. All right, we'll see what happens coming up here pretty soon. Christopher Young, thank you so much. Thank you.